Hey guys, it's Mark from Denmark Bros coming to you again from my kitchen. Today we're going to talk to you about our new sponsor, Tastefully Done Marinades. Voted number one marinade for game meats by hunters. And as you guys know, we're avid hunters. But before I go too far, I want you to guy I want you guys to wait till the end or look at the video all the way to the end because we're gonna have a special giveaway. So make sure you watch to the end and see what we have to give away. Now, Tastefully Done Marinade is a family owned and family operated company. Uh, based in Lowville, New York. Um, it's a marinade that's been specifically designed for game meat, such as deer, elk, bear, moose, geese, turkey, blah blah blah, etc, etc, etc. I'm told that this marinade is the only marinade in the market that has fat added to the marinade as a basting agent. So this is very special for marinades because in most cases they just have vinegar and salts and it does somewhat of a brine. But this has fat embedded. What that's going to do is a lot of the game meats are very lean. So the fat that's inside the marinade is going to help baste it and it's going to make the meat perfectly good. Now, other ingredients that are in this marinade are salt, vinegar, uh, spices, uh, sugars, there's no added preservatives, it's gluten free, um, and obviously there are secret ingredients that I don't know and uh, you're not going to know. So there you go. The website is www.tastefullydone.com um, I would suggest you visit that site. I'm going to post a link at the bottom and in the comment section. Go see their videos. They have a ton of, um, of recipe videos. Uh, they show you how to baste your meats and stuff. What they recommend is one jar of this marinade is good for approximately three to four pounds of meat. What we're going to do today, we are going to marinade some venison, deer that we caught a few years ago. We just have a bunch of cubes. We are also going to marinade wild boar. This is a very fatty meat, so the marinade is just going to add a lot of flavor and a lot of taste to it. And we are also going to marinate elk pieces. We got these uh, nice little wild game meat packages from one of our local uh, game meat markets, Bear Brook Farms. And uh, we like to thank them also for helping us get this meat. So what the company recommends is initially you add the marinade into a saucepan and as you can see it's a fairly thick marinade because of the fat so we are going to go like so and empty the content of that jar into our saucepan what we are going to start doing is actually heat up the marinade just so that the fat uh, the fat melts and mixes in with the rest of the uh, the spices and the vinegar and the salt and then what we do is take the pieces of meat and lightly dip it in the marinade and put it in separate pots put some marinade in it and let it stand for five days Every day they recommend that you at least flip the meat so that the top and the bottom gets some of the marinade and it has the absorption into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start marinating this meat. The venison that I have here 
will probably take one jar on its own because I have a lot of meat in there. I'm going to have also another video showing you a little surprise about with what we're going to do with the rest. So stay tuned for that one. That's going to come a little bit further, a little bit uh, further down. So I'm going to add a second jar of marinade. Very well sealed. Make sure that actually this one came out a lot easier because I had this one on the counter for a little while. The other jar was in the refrigerator, and that's why the uh, the fat was congealed. Okay, now while this heats up and melts a little bit, um, I'm going to mention to you that a jar of this marinade goes for approximately eleven dollars, eleven U.S. dollars. Uh, we're up here in Canada. Um, the company was very gracious enough to send us a few jars to do some tasting and some testing. So, thank you very much, Amy. I'm very sorry I forget. I think it's James. If not, it's going to have his corrected name right here. <laughs> sorry about that. But uh, we'd like to thank that company for sending us and allowing us to be our sponsor. So, wait for this to melt down. Right, I've heated up the, uh, the sauce here, and as you can see, there's no longer any fat uh, pieces or fat bits. They're all melted. Now what the company re recommends we do <clears throat> is to take the piece of meat. Uh, in some cases, you could slice the meat in smaller pieces so that it's a little more, a bit more tender. Or you take the, pe the piece of meat put it into the sauce, flip it over a few times, put it in a container, then put the sauce over top of your meat and let it marinate. Now I have three uh, different cuts of meat and I don't want to do that. I don't want to con cross contaminate the meats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three separate meats, put them in three separate bowls, then pour some of the sauce over top and mix it in. It comes to the same thing, but I just want to make sure that I don't cross-contaminate the meat. So here I go. I'm going to quickly take our wild boar, a nice pork chop looking piece of meat. I'll put that in this bowl here, put that in there. I will take my three or four, it looks like tenderloin pieces of the elk. Put those pieces in this container. Oh, these look really, really nice. Okay. And I am going to take all the venison from this Ziploc and put them in this container. Once again, I will be doing something special with these pieces later on and I will show you what it is in the next video. Now, quick wash of the hands. And here we go. We will start by adding some of the marinade to the elk. And that's about enough. I will now add some to the wild boar. And that's about enough. Now the rest will go into our deer pieces. And before all the sauce is gone, I'm going to have to do a little taste test of this. Whoa, she's hot! Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you can taste the vinegar, salt. Uh, there's a little, um, I'm sure, liquid smoke. 
Um, I want to say paprika, a little bit of cayenne maybe. Very, very nice. I will now take a set of tongs and quickly move these around and let them marinate for five days as suggested. And we will be back in five days to show you the result of this by cooking it on the barbecue seeing how tasteful it is, how tender it is, and how beautiful this marinade is. Once again, voted number one, and uh, I have to thank the company once again. But we're now at the end of the video, and I told you that there is going to be a special giveaway. Now, the company and I have talked about doing a giveaway of a jar of this marinade. Now, what we are going to ask the viewers, you, you guys on YouTube and Facebook and wherever this video is going to be seen, we want you to make a little video of what you would do with this marinade, how, how you would use it. Send us the video and we are going to pick a winner. The winner is going to be selected either the last week of December, after Christmas, or right after New Year's. So this is going to give you at least two, two and a half months to prepare videos, send them in. The company and I will pick a winner, and the winner will receive a jar of the tastefully done number one wild meat marinade. So. Come back and see me in five days. We're gonna taste this stuff. Out. All right, we're back. The meats have been marinating for five days. So now we're going to try it. Nice. You wanna look? So what do we got, Psych? What do we got, man? Okay, here is your pieces of deer. Beautiful. Look at that. Whole bunch of marinated oh, man, venison pieces. So good. Yeah, it does, eh? Mm. Now in here, spices. we have the wild boar. The wild boar stick. You won't be able to see it so much, but once we put it on the barbecue. And here we have elk. Our elk pieces. So we're going to put those also on the barbecue. Okay, so grab uh, whichever one. Let's go out. Okay, so it's a little bit later at night today so that's why it's so dark outside anyways we're going to put we'll start with the uh, wild boar. with the wild boar whenever we put the initial boar in there it was I found it was a tough type of meat but look it's it's kind of wanting to fall apart nice. so hopefully the marinade has done its job and is going to render this Extremely tasty. We are going to bring this down a bit because I don't want it to char too much. Now we are going to put some of the elk pieces. The elk look like small, um, small loins. This is a small elk. This is a small elk, yeah. <laughs> Compared to the boar. Okay, so now we're going to put a whole bunch of deer meat also. We've got those cubed wow. up. Small deer too. Let those cook. Alright, so all the pieces are on there. We'll let that cook. Uh, we won't let it cook for too long because the wild meat is already very lean. So if you let it cook for too long, it's just going to get tough no matter what. So nice and medium. Nice and medium. Mm -hmm. A little bit bloody. And we'll come back and tell you how good it is. It smells good though. It really does. Yeah. Alright, so we've got it all cooked. 
We've got the deer, the wild boar, the elk. So we got a few pieces in our plate here. Denis cut the uh, boar a while ago. He says it cut like butter. So, so Let's I'm, try with elk. I'm not even going to put a lot of pressure on this knife here. Just, just it's absolutely, it's crazy. It's, it's almost like pate. It's weird. It just cuts it like butter. Deer. Oh, even a deer usually it's a bit tough. Yeah, usually deer is very tough, but no. Not at all. It's just cut right through there. And this is the wild boar on the side and we won't mix it. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so, try it out. I'm going to try elk. We got nice little asparagus with portobello mushrooms. Hey, hey, let's try it. Oh my god. Mmm. Got a nice little sweetness. Mm. I get a lot of the vinegar too. Yeah, vinegary, but nice. It cuts a bit of the wild, the edge off, but I, I still taste wild. Very little. Mm. But I like, as it cooked, I kind of turned it into sugar. Almost caramelized it. It's got a little sweetness to it. Mm. Oh, that's really, really nice. Mm -mm. Wow. Uh, mm. Deer it. Deer it. Yeah, we're redneck, so we use fingers. See a nice little pink. Very light pink, but... I like, oh, I love that taste. I like venison taste. I like the mm. wild taste. Mm. And it doesn't mask it as much. No. There's a little bit more venison taste to that. Get a little pick of that, uh, that sauce. <clears throat> Not much, it's a little, it's got a little spiciness to it. Mm. I can't wait to try that one though. The boar, yeah. The boar. Yeah, the boar, I'm really, a little boar pork chop. Oh, nice. Here we go, with a little, it was really fatty, but, uh, it fell apart in the barbecue. Oh yeah, you just touch it and it falls apart. It's like almost pulled pork. Mm. It's crazy. This stuff is awesome. That's almost like a... Um, how do you say that in English? These are ridiculous. Reckless. No. Pork rinds? Pork. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. It looks like pork rinds. Oh. You get that usually at um, at the um, sugar bush. You get the, the pork fat that's deep fried. Oh, pork rinds, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is just... That is just awesome. Mmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. All thanks to these guys. Tastefully done marinade. Turn around, I'll go like this because I get the reflection. Do you want to turn it again, Mark? Yeah, we got the light on. Yeah. Let's see here. We'll try to do the. Uh, let me try to grab it like this just to see how it'll turn it like this. Get another Tastefully difference. Tastefully done marinade. That is awesome there you stuff. There you go. Let's dig in while we do that. Let's get it a little light. There you go. All right. Now. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are going to do a draw of one of these jars. Can I be in a draw? No, we're not allowed, unfortunately. I would love to have some more of these. <laughs> so, we are going to ask you, the viewer, you, the subscriber, you, the Facebooker, to create a video and let us know what you would do with this marinade how you would prepare it, well, all the different and fun videos that you can make. Send it to us. We will send it to the company. And together we're going to pick out the winner and send you a jar oh, of this parody. Yes, for free. So, don't wait. Send us your videos. A plus for me. Oh yeah, A definitely. Plus. It's insane. Oh. Great, great journey. So, I'm, I'm Mark. I'm Dennis. We're Denmark Bros. Ciao, mate.